in this video i will find the circular convolution between two sequences using dft idft method determine the four point circular convolution of the sequences here x1 of n and x2 of n sequences are given we supposed to find frequency domain approach using dft and idft we supposed to use frequency domain approach that is nothing but stokamp's process simplify this for different values of n so here we have n is equal to 4 so we have cos 2 pi n by n and we have another function that is sine 2 pi n by n so here for n equal to 0 substituting n equal to 0 in this equation and capital n equal to 4 will get 1 and for n equal to 0 here we get 0 for n equal to 1 its value is 0 and its value is 1 for n equal to 2 we have minus 1 and here it is 0 and for n equal to 3 we will get this as 0 and this as minus 1. So therefore we can write x1 of n is equal to 1 0 minus 1 0 and we have x2 of n is equal to 0, 1, 0, minus 1. Now, now let me find the circular convolution between these two sequences using DFT and IDFT method, which is also known as Stokamp's method. So in Stokamp's method, first we have to find the DFT of the first sequence. Say x1 of n is first sequence and x2 of n is second sequence. We have to find DFT of this, we will get x1 of k. Similarly, find DFT of second sequence, we will get x2 of k. Then we have to multiply these two, we will get next new sequence known as y of k. Then we should apply inverse DFT on y of k to get the output y of n, which is nothing but the circular convolution between given two sequences. So first, we will try to find x1 of k by finding DFT of x1 of n. So I will use matrix method to find dft of first sequence so here x1 of n is equal to we have 1 0 minus 1 0 so i will solve this using matrix method so in matrix method x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 so this is a column matrix is equal to we have total factor matrix directly i will write the values so in total factor matrix the first row values are 1 1 1 1 second row values are 1 minus j we have minus 1 plus j in third row we have 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and here we have 1 j plus j minus 1 minus j so now here we have to write the x1 of n sequence as a column matrix that is 1 0 minus 1 0 now perform the mat multiplication between these two sequences these two matrices so 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 0 is 0 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 1 into 0 is 0 now second row multiply with this column that is 1 into 1 is 1 this will be 0 then it will be plus 1 j into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 this minus 1 into 0 is 0 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 then it will be 0 then 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 so simplifying this we will get this is 0, 2, this is 1 minus 1 is 0, 2. So this is nothing but x1 of k. Therefore we can write x1 of k is equal to 0, 2, 0, 2. So now similarly find x, x2 of k by finding dft of x2 of n so let me find so here we have 
x2 of n sequence is 0 1 0 minus 1 so let me find x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 x2 of 3 let me write the total factor matrix it is same as before it is 1 1 1 1 we have 1 minus j minus 1 j 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 j minus 1 minus j so here we supposed to write x2 of n sequence that is 0 1 0 minus 1 so perform the multiplication between these two matrices so 1 into 0 it is 0 plus 1 plus 0 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 so 1 into 0 0 minus j into 1 minus j this is 0 so j into minus 1 is minus j so 1 into 0 is 0 minus 1 1 into 0 it is 0 this will be plus 1 so 1 into 0 plus j so this is 0 and this is plus j so simplifying this we will get this is 0 here minus j into minus j minus j minus j that is minus 2j so here it will be 0 and it is 2j so therefore we have x2 of k is equal to 0 minus 2j 0 2j so now as per the block diagram here we have y of k is equal to x1 of k into dot x2 of k we have to perform the multiplication between x1 of k and x2 of k that is nothing but so therefore y of k is equal to x1 of k dot x2 of k that is we have x1 of k that is 0 2 0 2 and we have x2 of k that is 0 minus 2j 0 plus 2j which is equal to 0 dot 0 is 0 2 into minus 2j is 4j 0 into 0 is 0 2 into 2j is 4j so now let's find inverse dft of y of k so i will use matrix method again so this is y of 0 y of 1 so this is y of 2 y of 3 so in finding inverse dft the formula is 1 over n so here n is 4 and the total factor matrix values are directly I will write the values that is 1 1 1 1 so here these values are just same as this one only plus j is replaced by minus j and minus j is replaced by plus j and all position of 1 is same so in second row we have 1 minus j minus 1 j it is supposed to be 1 j minus 1 minus j 1 j minus 1 minus j here it is same that is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and here we have 1 so here it is j it's supposed to be minus j minus j it is minus 1 and here we have minus j we should write plus j and here we have y of k sequence that is 0 minus 4j 0 we have 4j let's multiply these two we have 1 by 4 i will keep it as it is so 1 into 0 is 0 1 into minus 4j is minus 4j 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 4j is plus 4j here 1 into 0 0 so minus 4j square so it is 0 then minus j is minus 4j square then here 1 into 0 is 0 so it will be 
plus 4j plus 0 minus 1 this is minus 4j and here 1 into 0 is 0 minus j this is plus 4j square so this is 0 and here we have plus 4j square so simplifying this I can write 1 by 4 so here minus p this is 0 and here it will be j square means minus 1 so it will be plus 4 so it will be plus 4 that is 8 8 by 4 this is 8 and here it will be 0 and here it will be minus 8 so simplifying this we will get 1 by 4 this is 0 so 8 by 4 is 2 this is 0 minus 8 by 2 is minus 2 so therefore we can write y of n is equal to we have 0 2 0 minus 2 so this is the linear convolution between two sequences thank you for watching